Oh, hey, welcome to day two. As you can see there, it is coating day. Um, it took us quite a bit more sanding to get to that point, but we were able to get a coat on it today. Um, so you see me here starting off. We are fine edging um, a couple of the rooms. This is 80 grit on the Super 7, and we're going around all the edges, kind of straightening out our, our sanding scratches, cleaning it up um, even more. We did go over this floor with 40 grit first, and then we did 60 grit, and now we're going over it with 80. So started off with that this morning. Um, I went ahead and did the edging today, and I'm having Daniel chase me around the house uh, doing all the corners and all the transitions. So you see him here doing that along with, you guys kind of pointed out in the comments yesterday that this is probably a in-home vacuum system. So you see him going around that there. And then uh, this is a super old school edger that I have made by Lagler. Um, and this thing, I'm not gonna lie to you, is pretty much an antique, but it's got a really long nose on it. And I don't have a flip. I would love to have one. I don't have one. So I use this old school sander. I take the handle off of it because uh, it makes the nose be able to get under there farther. And I can get all the way to the toe kick under the cabinet. So use that to kind of finish edging in the kitchen and under these uh, cabinets here as well. Um, so glad to get that out of the way. And then Daniel, you see him here. He was dry in the last clip. Now, not so dry. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> it is super hot in this house. Um, not only is it Florida, it's summertime, um, but these people also do not have working AC right now. So it is a billion degrees in this house. Um, so Daniel was dripping sweat all over the place and I was going over the whole floor with the big machine, cleaning it all up. <laughs> so you see me going over the floor here again with the big machine. I believe this is the 80 grit pass. I had more footage of this, but um, just where I set the camera, it was super shaky and the footage is not great. So um, decided to skip that, but at least you saw me doing it a little bit. Um, so here we are continuing to edge 80 grit. Daniel's still crawling around the house, um, doing all the corners and the transitions. You see that uh, the door in the back's got a big, long, huge transition that he was able to sand, as well as the front door, the back door. There's a whole bunch of them. Um, once that was all done, 100 grit screen on the buffer, and we are going over the whole floor. Um, we do this um, because those, all those different sanders that we use through this whole process all sand differently. Um, so this is a way to blend that all together as well as get a finer pass. Um, so after going over the whole floor with the buffer, vacuuming it all up, it is ready to coat. So here you see me doing that. I pour out a big puddle and I am sealing this floor with Bona Dry Fast Sealer. Um, it is an oil-based polyurethane. It gives that Merritt Island Pine a really nice, rich um, look to it that I really like. And uh, the customer saw some of my pictures of some old floors that I had done in the past and wanted the same thing for theirs. Um, you can see there, there's a big light square kind of area. Um, that is where a rug was for decades. Um, this, this floor, I think I mentioned yesterday, is 120 years old. And apparently they had some rugs in here that did not move for a long, long, long time. Doesn't matter how many times I sanded over it, that um, shadowing was not going away. So, the, you know, the natural light darkened it up there. So anyway, um, happy to get everything coated today. Happy with how it's uh, looking so far. We'll buff it and finish it up tomorrow. See you then.